All right, I'm going to have to ask you to anticipate what you're going to need when you demonstrate. Um, you can talk to the teachers and find out if they have a broom in the, in the uh, classroom, but you may want to bring a watering can so that you can show the kids how much water to put in their pots. And please don't assume that the kids know that they should be putting a plate or um, a water catcher under their pot. So if you'd bring a plate with you to, to demonstrate that, that would be great. Other things you might uh, want to bring is a scissors, um, because most kids aren't going to have a garden tool nippers. Um, plastic materials or newspapers so that the kids can work. I think it's important that you, you interact with the kids as you're doing the demonstration. Um, get as dramatic as, as you can, actually taking the plant and putting it across the room from a window, putting it on the floor next to a window and actually putting it on the window to give them the idea of, of uh, more light the better. After light, water is the most important aspect of, of uh, making a geranium grow. And of course, because they're a succulent, you don't want to overwater them but you, obviously the kids need to water them on a regular basis. So uh, I think it's important to tell them to be on a schedule, to water them at least once a week, but also to feel the dirt to see if they can feel the moisture. It'd be a great demonstration if you had a, a, a pot with totally dry dirt and a pot that had some moist dirt and have them actually feel what the difference is. So please spend a little time on watering, but make sure you uh, let them know what overwatering can do to their plants. Last thing you want to show the kids is how to maintain their plants. When they get a, a yellow leaves or if they get dead materials, how to take them off. The leaf is sitting on top of a petiole and the student will want to snap the petiole off at the node. So they can either snap it off with their fingernail or take a scissors and cut it off. The students are really excited about doing this project and so are the teachers and I'm excited that so many people from the community are volunteering to help us show the kids how to pot their plants and how to tend their plants. You know, as I was thinking about doing this video, I was thinking that it really takes a village to um, make our school system work, and I want to thank you for being part of the villagers. I hope you're going to have a lot of fun going into the classrooms and working with the kids. They're very excited to have you come in, and so are the teachers. Please let us know uh, what happens and uh, give us some suggestions on how we can do this better next year.